really to conclude, my point is that we have here a wonderfully complex structure because what I was saying doesn't mean that simply, okay, now we, okay, fuck off Hegel, we got your point, the secret formula of Hegel is in Kierkegaard Freud, now let's forget Hegel, let's deal with these guys. Ah, here I would like to conclude in an idea which came to me apropos of Wall Street, uh, protests, very strange, Freudian association. Uh, you know, when Claude Lévi-Strauss says something beautiful about prohibition of incest, he says, this prohibition is not a question to which we don't have an answer but it's an answer without question. It's obviously the prohibition of incest, it's a solution, an answer to some deadlock. We don't know to which one. We don't know the problem, the question. In this sense, I claim, yes, Kierkegaard Freudian notion of repetition is where we get Hegel's secret at its purest. We get the four in this fixation, repetition, and so on, we get, as it were, the zero level, the real core of Hegelian dialectics, but we can see this only if the question is Hegelian. So, to really stop now, I think that, and then we will have a lot of time, like two, three minutes for debate and so on. <laughs> it's that, uh, no, I'm really sorry to repeat an old joke, but I cannot resist it, I love it. When people told me, but you're a totalitarian, you don't like dialogue, I told them, you must have heard it, but I love it. I love dialogues, late Plato's dialogues. You know what happens there. One guy speaks all the time, and the other says every 10 minutes, by Zeus, so it is Socrates, and so on. So, we, But sorry, quite serious. So I think that our task today is simply, of course, not to simply remain Hegelian, in the sense of the fidelity to Hegel's explicit position. This is madness, but to to re to read post Hegelians from the standpoint of the Hegelian question. The only way to read what is truly great in post Hegelians is to read them as an answer to the Hegelian question. Which is why, to conclude, we all know that the post Hegelian break has another dimension which is the most famous one, the dimension of new positive order. No, usually it is said, Hegel, crazy idealist, this is just the realm of shadows, and the basic post-Hegelian break is to introduce or assert some positivity of uh, uh, the will in, in, in late Schelling, Schopenhauer, uh, and so on, or, or uh, even Nietzsche, or, or, for example, for Marx, the, the actual positive social process of production, Kierkegaard, the singularity of belief, so you, can, you have some positivity, which should be the foundation of the abstract. And I claim that this is precisely the original sinner for me here, if you ask me, is Feuerbach. He is the worst. This idea that there is some positivity of being missed by Hegel, no. The much more crucial dimension of the post-Hegelian break is this emergence of radical repetition. And I think we are still at this level. So the task is, you may have guessed my final formula, not to go beyond Hegel, but to repeat Hegel in the Kierkegaardian sense. Thank you very much for your patience.